guys and welcome back welcome back to Dylan so hobbies and in today's video it's Thanksgiving happy Thanksgiving everybody obviously I'm filming this uh, a couple days in advance I'm going to of course upload it and have it ready for Thanksgiving I want to say happy Thanksgiving everybody and of course uh, talk about um, update you guys on some of the channels, plus tell you guys what I'm really thankful for this year. So, I mean, let, let's get all the mushy-gushy stuff out of the way, right? Uh, first off, 2020, man, has been quite, quite a year. And, uh, I, I'm not gonna go through all of it, because we all know what's up. I mean, the pandemic, uh... The societal stuff, all that other crazy stuff with, uh, um, uh, what's going on in America. It's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. And with all of that, uh, with all of, uh, the hardships that this year has gone through, it's really funny because for me personally, I've had a pretty decent year so far. And that's mostly because I have a lot of more to be thankful for this year than any other i mean the biggest thing that i am definitely thankful for is my life my health i'm alive and in 2020 that's like the biggest thing ever right um uh, i'm i'm thankful and happy that a lot of my family is healthy and alive i i got to some some members of my family, some of my cousins actually did get COVID, but they recovered, thank God. Um, and yeah, yeah uh, COVID has definitely done a lot of things for the world, but it hasn't uh, done much to my family, at least. So I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful to be alive, even in this day and era. Even though you know, it's kind of the worst time to be alive, I'm still thankful to be alive. I think that's one of the biggest things I am thankful for this year is just the fact that me and my family are alive. Um, I did unfortunately lose my grandma, my grandma, my mom's side of the family. Uh, she died of cancer, not COVID. Uh, she died just as the stay at home orders came. Um, so maybe like, uh, I think a couple weeks after the whole COVID incident, she, she actually passed away of cancer, never got COVID, but still that pain of loss is, uh, still there. You can kind of feel it. Um, uh, but for those of you who have lost family because of COVID, I can't imagine, uh, what it must feel like, you know, I did lose my grandma this year, so I got that on me, but it, it's not like I lost her to COVID. So I, I really feel uh, for you guys, and um, I hope that you have a really good Thanksgiving. I mean, here, here's the thing: even with all of this, pe people will be like, "Why even celebrate? This year sucks." But that's why we should celebrate, is because this year sucks. You know, rejoice in the fact that you got your life, you got your family, you got your health, and hopefully everyone else makes it through this year, you know, cross your fingers, right, um, and let those who have been lost be in our hearts forever, so, all that mushy gushy stuff out of the way, uh, we also have, for me personally, I have members of the family, um, new members of the family, my dad, uh, actually has a girlfriend now, and, uh, her and her kids are um, quickly becoming family members of mine. We all live together now, so um, that that's fantastic. Not to mention my uh, little sister, my baby sister, if you will. Uh, she actually has a child of her own now, which I'm an uncle to two nephews from my older sister. Now my younger sister has... Um, a baby as well. I don't have any kids. Never going to, probably. But, uh, my little sister just gave birth to my niece. And, you know, it's just kind of weird. With everything going on in the world, it, it's really har harsh, right? And it's really interesting to see a baby be born 
through all of this, right? Um, just for some reason, when I saw that, uh, it, it just kind of lifted my spirits a bit, seeing my niece. Um, and that was on the phone, right? Uh, she lives in Kentucky. I, I had to uh, uh, FaceTime her. But then in the beginning of November, she actually surprised me out of nowhere, and she came here um, to Arizona. So we got to spend a week. I got to spend a week with not only my little sister, but my niece. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. Um, and I absolutely love my niece. So I'm really thankful for my niece as well. Yeah, and, and I got a new house this year, um, and I mean, it's, re it's really funny. Another thing that I'm really thankful for is the ability to laugh, and you know, with, with everyone being, staying at home and annoying each other, we get all on the internet, and it looks like no one can laugh anymore, right? Um, because everyone gets our, it, it basically on each other's nerves. Um, and that's why everything kind of exploded after uh, COVID happened, after the stay-at-home stuff happened, right? Um, and it's interesting because uh, it, it's like the scariest time. I, I've never lived through anything like this. The stay-at-home orders uh, terrified me. Going to the um, store and seeing people in masks, I mean... Uh, other than Halloween, that's not normal, you know, it, it kind of scares me, uh, in fact, it borderline terrifies me, I mean, and here, here, me and my grandma are in our masks, picking up uh, dinner, and here we go, we see actually a uh, guy in a hazmat suit, I'm not kidding, a hazmat suit, picking up uh, butter and bagels, <laughs> it's like, what are we living in? And uh, even though it was terrifying, the ability to laugh at uh, the craziness that's going on kind of de-stresses you. And I'm really thankful for that. If it wasn't for uh, my other grandma on my dad's side and me being able to just hang out and laugh, I don't know um, how much I could get through this year. Uh, because it's all been crazy, you know. And the great thing is I'm able to laugh about it. With that said, you know what also kind of really terrifies me is I have no idea what's going to happen now in the uh, uh, future. I mean, uh, typically, you know, you have some idea of what's going to happen in the future. You have an idea. And even if you don't know what's going to happen, you kind of see a path, right? Um, nope. <laughs> it's all crazy right now. Anything can happen um, next year. Uh, so that's kind of scary, but at the same time, I am so ready for 2020 to be over. So I guess all you got to do is hang out with your family and move one step forward, move one day. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time, especially this year, taking one day at a time. But seriously, now it's more important than ever, and I'm so ready for 2021. <laughs> with that said, we got one more month, you know. And it's funny because typically what I do every uh, Thanksgiving is I say Happy Thanksgiving, I say Happy Holidays, and I take uh, December off for myself to hang out with my family. Um, I kind of spent a lot of time with my family, just like everyone else. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do, I'm going to try, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do three videos a week. But I am definitely going to just keep making videos through December. Because why stop now, you know? Um, especially with COVID going on. Uh, what, why stop? And everything else this year has been crazy. Why stop uh, making videos? Why stop um, trying to entertain people? Um, just to give you guys some something to look forward to. Uh, until, of course... Christmas, so I'm definitely not going to be stopping uh, videos this year. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make three a week, but I'm definitely going to be making videos through December, which I've never done. Uh, I've usually stop around Thanksgiving and wait till New Year's, 
uh, kind of gives me a chance to gather myself, figure out what I want to do for next year and stuff like that. Because of that, there are going to be some videos I miss uh, because I'm going to be both preparing for next year, spending time with my family, but uh, I'm definitely going to be making videos during December because why stop now? Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry if it seemed a little boring, but uh, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving. I hope you and your family are doing well this Thanksgiving. And I'm out. Bye.